Dear friends, today let's talk about the internal budding. This is also known as the endogenous budding. This is a, a method of asexual reproduction in freshwater sponge that is known as spongilla. Spongilla ke under asexual method कि जो रिप्रोडक्शन है वो इंटरनल बडिंग या एंडोजेनस बडिंग के थ्रू होता है हम लेट्स सी हाउ दिस इंटरनल बडिंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन स्पोंजिला दिस मेथड इज अ मेथड ऑफ पेरिनेशन टू पास द एंथोरियल कंडीशंस एज वेल एज इट विल हेल्प इन द डिस्पर्सल ऑफ the fresh water sponges. During the unfavorable conditions, the totipotent cells, totipotent cells of spongilla, they will form the internal bud and that internal bud is known as gemule. Very, very important. Gemule, gemule formation. The internal bud जो स्पॉन्जिला के अंदर जो प्रोड्यूस होता है वो जैम्यूल की फॉर्म में प्रोड्यूस होगा लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ जैम्यूल हम इस जैम्यूल के स्ट्रक्चर की बात करते हैं स्पॉन्जिला के अंदर हाउ दिस जैम्यूल फॉर्मेशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस सो एज वी सेट दैट टोटी पोटेंट सेल्स दे विल फॉर्म द इंटरनल बर्ड विच इज नोन एज जैम्यूल एंड वी नो दैट टोटी पोटेंट सेल्स आर दो सेल्स विच कैन डिवाइड विच हैव अ कैपेसिटी कैपेबिलिटी टू डिवाइड एंड टू After the division, they can produce the new body. Totipotent cells are those cells which are capable of cell division. Those cells are known as totipotent cells, which can divide. So they are these totipotent cells which are capable of cell division. They will form the gemmule formation. Now let's see how the structure of gemmule is. The totipotent cells of spongilla, they will be surrounded by a membrane. Suppose these are the totipotent cells. These totipotent cells, they will be surrounded by an internal membrane. This is internal membrane and a opaque external membrane. This is the outer membrane of gemmule. Outer membrane. This will be the inner membrane. These are the totipotent cells. And these totipotent cells are known as archaeocyte. Archaeocyte. These are the totipotent cells. And these totipotent cells, on the onset of heavy condition, they will come out from this body through this pore, which is known as micropyle. Micropyle. The outer membrane may have spicules. These are the small fibers like structures which are known as spicules may be present. Spicules hai. Spicules may also be there. So this is the structure of gemmule in spongilla. And this gemmule on the onset of heavy conditions, these totipotent cells which are archaeocytes, 
they will come out through this micropyle and they will produce new spongula jo hai wo se ban jayega so they will help in the continuation of species and this method is asexual method because birds are growing inside this membrane inside this structure so it is endogenous budding it is known as or it is known as the internal 